Good morning. Now, did you think I was gonna come to Hue and not eat some Bumba Hue? You're wrong. It is morning time, about 7 a.m. My voice is a little raspy, but it's a perfect morning for some Bumba Hue. Now, I had a place recommended to me. It was right here. We got Bumba Hue by three. Uh, this is the owner right here dishing it up. But she doesn't really look like bad. So maybe her mother started or anything, but check it out. Chào buổi sáng nha. Ồ, có tên là Tuy. Ba Tuy, à tên là Ba Tuy. Hai lông xuống lại. And you see, she's gonna be busy because she's gonna be in the center. I do believe this is her daughter right here as well. And they're just gonna be dishing up all morning. So when the orders aren't flying to her, we'll maybe get in here and ask her a few questions. Uh, Uh, con huyết gì? Đây là huyết bò à, hay? Việc bò về việc, việc vịt. Dạ. À, con huyết vịt đây. À, you see she does a good thing. She'll have her, like her rare beef. She'll have her like gun, which is going to be like her tendon here. She's going to have that bát bò. Đây là bát bò hay đây là gì? Bắp. Uh, so she's got her bát bò here. And then she'll actually have some pork as well. The reason bún bò is so good, I think, in Vietnam is it's like that combination of that pork and that beef together. Even though it may translate to beef noodles, it's about that combination of that beef and pork that really make it special. So what they do is you'll go down, you'll sit down, right? And you call out your order, what you want specifically. And she's going through in here, she's just kind of picking out the exact things that the customer wants, which I think is pretty special. Ooh, heo này ngon lắm. Ăn chưa mà biết ngon. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good to get in here, being Hue, and in the morning, getting a nice ball of bún bò Hue. Now you can tell, like, even looking at her broth, how differently it looks like the stuff that I've shown you from Saigon. Now, this is a truly duck bit bowl. Like, it ranges anywhere from 50 to 60, but you still gotta pick, do you want the, the sum, do you want the pork rib, or do you want the actual pork knuckle? Um, I want the rib. I want to mix it up. And on the table, ready to go, your fish sauce, right? But look how many chilies is in that, just hanging out. Just, just leak, excreting that heat into the actual fish sauce. Now, before I added that, I probably should have given it a try, the broth. So that was kind of rude of me, but old habits die hard. Look how light that broth is. Sometimes, like I said, you get in Saigon and they try to put so much flavor into it. It's so oily and so red, right? But this is almost kind of clear looking. And that's beautiful. I feel like I'm, I'm tasting the history of Bumba here. Even though it originated from here, I've only had it in Saigon, right? So to actually taste this and see what it maybe once was or should be is very fascinating. And they sell suda down here, or the uh, soybean drink. And they got their chili on the side. The thing that's interesting here, I think it's actually been stir fried because you can see it kind of glistening. It's not a dry chili. And one of the things I'm most excited about trying is actually that blood cake right there. I don't know why that blood cake excites me. I'm ready for it. I tried, I tried dipping. I have nothing to dip though. But really what I want to show here too, look at the noodles. So when you get a noodle in Saigon, right? Like a bún bò noodle, it's very thick. But this almost looks like more like a bún rio noodle or something like that. Look how thin that is, which I prefer. I prefer a thinner noodle. So to me, this is already a win-win. I'm pro thin rice noodle over that. I love that. Oh man, and when you pay 60K, you get a hunk of meat. Look at that. That is a chunk of pork rib out there. Look at all that fat. That's a huge pork rib. Oh, I don't even know how to attack this. That is perfect. If you like fatty, melt in your mouth pork ribs, this would be a place to get it. That pork rib is perfection. Coming from a man that comes from the US where barbecue is king, ribs are king, that is perfect. Leaves a bite mark, not too soft, beautifully done. But let's get a couple bites of the cha so we can make some room, get some veg in here. Because ain't no bowl of noodle in Vietnam finished until you get the veg soaked in that broth.
and a little more heat. And the best part is just getting here with the locals. I mean, it's absolutely packed. It's full right now. People are still just rolling in. I mean, it is full, full tables right now. Ooh, that hit the spot. I want to show y'all too. Can you see in the back here? Completely full in the back. No empty seats. I've been doing it 27, 28 years around there. I think she said 27. I can't quite remember. Uh, she smiles. If you don't get her where she's working super busy, you talk to her, man. She's really, really humble, good person. I, I just full of smiles. Great start. Felt so good to actually try Bumba Hue from Hue. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Connecting so many dots for me. So sorry, y'all. That was nerding out a little bit. It was just a lot of fun for me because it was, it was due. I needed it. But breakfast tour not over. We're going to keep it moving. That nice little alley. What other way would you have it in Vietnam? Going for a bun bèo. We got bà cư here. So, she does a bun bèo nằm bánh lọc. I think it's gonna be really cool. Uh, they are, I think, opening or getting opening. Cause check this out. Got bà right here. Hey, chào cô. À, chào mọi người nha. Con làm, uh, đây là bánh nằm. Con làm chào bà. And so it's really cool because they're actually making them getting ready to open. So they'll actually have the paste they used to make it, and then they'll have the filling right there, and then they're going to wrap it in the leaf. Can I have a lai yi? Lai chui. Lai chui? Oh, got it. Yeah, cũng có gì. À, con làm bánh nằm đây. And so this is stuff they've already made. I guess they actually sell them for people, or maybe they're going to steam these. And see, look at this. Hard work, like Vietnamese people, like their their entrepreneurship and just how hardworking they are. You can see Ba here. She actually still has like her walker. She's still gonna sit here and she's gonna make the ban bèo, ban nam, and ban lao, ban ban lao. Sorry, uh, that's just amazing to me. Đây là đây là bột ngào hay đây là gì? Bột ngào. Bột ngào. Và đây là tôm thịt. Đây là tôm thịt. Có nấm mèo hay không có? Không, không. Ừ. Tôm thịt. À, tôm thịt. À, hành. Con làm uh, mấy cái một ngày? Hả? Con làm mấy cái một ngày? À, nhiều. À, đúng rồi, bao nhiêu một à, ngày? Khoảng uh, 2.000. 2.000. Trời ơi. <cười> nhiều lắm. Đấy, như, bên, như bên đó là đã 600 rồi. Dạ. Đó là bà cư. Bà cư, bà cư. Bà cư, Dạ. Lâu đời rồi. Dạ đúng rồi đúng rồi ba năm rưỡi. <laughs> oh, bad, so funny. She's like, how old are you? It's like 30. She's like, how many children do you have? I was like, no children. I, I don't have a wife either. And she's like, oh my gosh. She's like, Vietnamese people, 20 years old, already have a wife and kids, and you were 30 and do not have. <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> oh man, so funny. Bánh bèo có gì? Dạ Mỡ hành Dạ Dạ heo Nhân, nhân tôm Nhân tôm ừ. Ừ. Ruột tôm luôn á à. Nam thường thôi Nhân tôm là là gì? Thì ruột tôm Ờ à, ruột tôm à. Đó Bóc vỏ đó Dạ nhưng có sấy rồi đúng không? Đúng rồi mình chạy Dạ Làm chân ăn nữa Dạ Alright and a serving all 14 of them. The real question is how many can you eat? She said spice so you can add the chili. So I'm gonna take the one she kind of prepared for me and I'm gonna add the chili. Just scoop it out right there. Bun bèo may be like one of the most fun things to eat in Vietnam. Something about like scooping it out of the little bowl right here is so much fun. Mm. Now as with most things in Vietnam, like there's many variations, right? You get some that have like the orange Kind of like loopy sauce, I don't like. If I'm gonna eat bun bèo, I wanna eat bun bèo like this. <clears throat> that chili hit the back of my throat. All you need is a simple little fried up pork skin, that nhân tôm, very good. And then that like hand feed with the oil. Love that coating that, that oiliness just kind of helps it slide down, almost lubricates it a little bit. And then you can't do it without the nook mom from like Hue style. Not as sour as I thought it'd be, but they've added some sugar to it. So it's not just completely salty, like when we ate the uh, ban kwai, 
but instead you got like a nice salty sweet balance. Some people love steak and seafood. For me, they're like, they want the steak, they want the lobster. For me, I can just take pork and shrimp all day. That's the real surf and turf that I want. Just something about pork and like little shrimp or prawns, whatever you want to call them. It's just meant to be. Mm. I'm my love. Uh, do I look like a champion yet? Stacking up the bun bale like it's nothing. Like it's just easy work. The problem is, I made the mistake. I had a cafe silla dad before I came here. And if there's one thing that's my weight loss secret in Vietnam, just go drink a cafe silla dad and you won't be hungry for the next like three or four hours. Oh, they're nice and hot. So they just steam these up fresh right here, the ban nam, which we get to make. And this is the ban nam. Um, one plate's usually about 30K, but I just got a little half and half because uh, we got to keep going and keep eating. So look at this. Oh, hello. Take it right here. Isn't that intricate work? They take that and tie that. That's so crazy to me. The artisanal skill to be able to do that. I'm telling you, if I would have got in there and I would have tried to make this, I would have brought four or five of them and buy in there probably she nice but i think i would have screwed that up so many times she would have cussed me out that's how bad i am at that so this one ban lao. i like this one because it's like it's more i think tapioca in here and so it's just really ooey gooey and chewy i'm just gonna submerge it oh shoot oh shoot get back in there you can see that prawn in there as well if you've never had this if you drink bubble tea a lot and you like like the chewy tapioca pearls then you would love this one it's just so addicting, that little chew. Mm. That may be the best bun lop I've ever had. Because it's been, I've never had, I don't think I've ever had it that freshly made. It's so fragrant. If you're just a fragrant person in that chewiness, again, the difference between tapioca when it's cold and warm is like night and day. And I have seen the light. Mm. Oh, right on. ตอนนี้เรื่องนี้ต้องมาเนี่ยมันจะบอกไว้ตรงอืมเรื่องหอมอ่ะหลอกร้านก็ต้องมีโค้ดก็ต้มย่องๆแบบก็เหมอแล้
Let me know in the comments what it is. Yeah. 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 Oh, so she actually uses the boat lock for this to make the bun app? Yeah. Oh, there is something called sushi. 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 And she's gonna press it. It's almost like she's making tacos. Oh, it's so cool. Ka yong. How about that sound? I wasn't ready for that sound. And now she's gonna fill it with her stuffing. Yeah. Wow. Did you see that? That was four pieces, one plate in like 30 seconds. Thank you, Mandy. Yeah. Okay, John. Yeah, do. I'm a year, I'm a year. Okay. Uh, this contraption right here is like blowing my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's got a little chung poop. She's gonna smash it in there. Oh no. So. I can't get over this cooking method. It's so interesting. It's like. Got my uh. Yeah, come on, Jinya. Yeah, come on, Jinya. Yeah, look, mom. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think she's about to feed me or something going on here. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> and so, <laughs> I love owners like this because they're so proud in what they do. That's what I was talking about. Hey, people, way people are so just like proud of their food, and that's why it's delicious. Vietnamese roll, roll it up, give it a dip. Ooh. It's so funny when you say it in Vietnamese, like manep yell, it's exactly what it tastes like. It's got that yell yell, that little chewiness to it. But I don't know why when she puts it in that, that machine, I expect it to be crunchy. I love the freshness from the cilantro and the Vietnamese coriander. Mm. The pickled papaya, that crunch, that snap, that sourness, that little bit of sweetness, so key when you're mixing it with such salty things like the dried meat here, the pat de, and the other ingredients she put on there. And you know the Vietnamese roll? Roll it, dip it, and rip it. So she calls this one ban chang chung. <laughs> I guess because she puts that chung kuk in there and just like smashes it. Ooh. Okay, so a lot of people know Ban Chang Nung has become very popular. She called this one Ban Chang Chung, and there is a difference. You see this right here, the Ban Chang? We have many different types of Ban Chang in Vietnam. And this is more, 
if you're roaming around the streets, I've seen it in Saigon, like the Banchang Mac Nha. They use a different type of Banchang. It's like a sweet, but this one, there's no sweet on it, right? So it's not like the type where they grill it up on the fire. This is gonna be a different, it's gonna give you a different texture. To me, it has a little more of a powdery texture, a little bit thicker, not more, more of a crunchy, but more of a powdery dissolve in your mouth. Ooh. And I kind of wish more people did it this way. I, I like that thicker crust when I'm eating that Vietnamese banchang topped with all those ingredients. This is something I'm eating. This is something I'm eating that like, it feels like two, three in the afternoon, I want a snack or two or 3 a.m. and I'm drunk. I, I would eat this so many times, two or 3 a.m. being drunk. I just realized this app like constrict and that's why she pushed it down. Oh my gosh, Vietnamese is so funny. Boom, right there. One seat. Now, the crazy thing is, <laughs> sorry, I'm still laughing. I still can't believe I didn't know. But app just like constrict the push. Oh, Vietnamese, such funny language. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, Quan Si is the name of the place. That was only 30K for both of those, are only 15K each. It's not even a dollar. Come on, come, 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 come on, come try this.